Yes, I think it's uh, rather limited and it's also a bit worrying. Obviously, things have got to do with Brexit and what's going on and we don't know what's happening, but yeah, I think it's a little bit of a concern. I mean, we're very limited for banks and stuff like that in Gibraltar. I, mean, I personally thought because of the amount of properties being put up, there's going to be a lot more people asking for mortgages and stuff like that. And obviously, most of the people that are down to collect a property um, are not going to be able to get a mortgage because there's not enough banks giving out loans. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. So one thing we should get is more banks in Gibraltar. I don't know why we don't have more banks in Gibraltar. Do you, do you think it's problematical, the fact that we only have, there's only a certain selection? Of course, because we need, I mean, normally banks only give 25% of our development. So if you've only got two banks, they can only give 50% of a development mortgage. So where's the other 50% going to be? You know, it's, it's terrible. Obviously, the fewer banks, the longer the queues. You know, it's, it seems to bottleneck now. Um, but again, we're, we're cattle. We don't get a say. Uh, have we got enough banks in Gibraltar? No, definitely not. What's missing? Um, missing uh, more retail banking, definitely. There's, there's quite a lot of offshore, unless I'm mistaken. Obviously, I don't do offshore. Uh, but yes, we do need that. There's only the, the local bank and there's also the NatWest. Now, we have, I believe, Chiska Bank is leaving as well. So we need some more money coming in or somebody to help us out. And we're only going to be left with uh, Gibraltar International and NatWest as retail bankers for the average person out in the street like myself. Well, at the moment, my account is being currently closed next Monday and there is no alternative solution here in Gibraltar. So after next week, uh, there will be no way I can access any banking facilities here in Gibraltar because, as I said, NetWest, they're not offering any new accounts. Justed Bank is now closing down. So I'm now having to look alternatives to British banks or European banks uh, to accommodate my needs. Uh, what we would like to have is more banks here in Gibraltar rather than have them uh, disappear. There is very little choice and obviously with the Jib National Bank, there was a, a huge demand when it first opened. People wanted to go there, and and even in that West, you can see that there are large queues for people wanting to check. And it's uh, you know it's become overcrowded, and we have less services really. There's not enough. Is it of a concern to you? It, that's a hell of a concern. I'm very concerned that if Jiska goes, we've only got two banks. That's it. We should have five or six. Do you think it bodes badly for business? Of course. It does bode badly for business. I'm happy with the selection, especially the good job that the government bank is doing. I've been a client of Juska Bank for years, and I'm very upset and disappointed that they're leaving. Any idea of what the future holds for you? Um, I've no idea because I've heard that Natwas is not opening new accounts, so that leaves us with the Gibraltar National Bank only, which will possibly be overwhelmed as well. Three things that I urge the government is, one, to give the... Uh, Gibraltar Financial Services Commission more powers, uh, the equivalent powers of Financial Conduct Authority in the UK. They need to introduce a financial ombudsman service equivalent to the UK as well. And the third thing I urge the government is to make sure that they encourage British or European Union banks to set up shop in Gibraltar to give customers enough choice and options because at the moment there is no alternative.